Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find subdomains, which are gonna be really important for you if you do any kind of bug bounty hunting or penetration testing, because subdomains are usually targeted the least, and usually what happens is beginners just log into the main page and try and hack on the main page, and it doesn't really work out for them, and they become really frustrated. So I wanna show you how to find subdomains. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so here we are. We have opened up a terminal, and you're gonna go ahead and sudo apt update, and then you're going to type in sudo apt install sublister and I just want to show you sublister because it's really popular and I used to use it a lot but I've really stopped recently because it's not pulling down as many domains as I would like so if we just type in something like sublister and then yahoo.com we'll see what it pulls down so you'll type in sublister dash d for the domain actually we can type in a dash h for help and you can see what all it's able to do so we're going to type in a sublister dash d and then we'll just type in yahoo.com and it's going to go out and search all these different search engines and then bring back the results and remember when you see all of these subdomains that it brings back that you need to check to make sure they're in scope sometimes i'll show you what i do is i just open this up and I'll be like, okay, here's a subdomain, here's a subdomain, and let's go through these subdomains. And I'll show you what I think is the best way to do this. So if you're in Firefox, you're gonna wanna download something called Open List Plugin, and we want it on Firefox. So we'll just go ahead and add this. And it's telling you right here what this is gonna do. It's gonna open multiple URLs at a time which becomes really helpful for us it says we want to add we're okay with adding and here it is so we now have this right here and what open list does is when you have all of these subdomains and you want to see what happens you can just copy these and then you can paste them in so we'll just grab this one because I don't think it's gonna have anything on it, so we'll copy this one. We can come over to open list, and we can just paste in a bunch of URLs. So what we would do is you'd really just copy a bunch of these instead of the same one over and over. And then when you hit open URLs, it's gonna open all of these tabs for you. It's gonna be a lot faster than having to open one at a time. So here they are, it opened all of those for us. So that's one way to check out the subdomains you do find, but that's not the purpose of this video. That was kind of just an afterthought that popped in my head as we were shooting this video. So you have sublister and here's a list of subdomains that it's brought down. And you might be able to say, well, that's a that's a decent sized list. So we'll scroll through it here. It's fine, but it's, it's not as big as we would like. So one of the tools I've been using here recently is AMAS and you can just type in AMAS-H and you can see exactly what it does. And it's gonna tell you it's an in-depth tack attack surface mapping and asset directory amas is really cool if you can get it to work so sometimes amas can be a little bit finicky but it'll work for us for what we're about to do you just type in amas and then we want to use enum because we're going to do enumeration right here and then if you hit a dash if you just hit enter with amas enum it'll tell you everything you can do with the enumeration and we're actually going to scroll up and we're gonna run a dash D and we're just gonna give it a, a domain. And sometimes I like to run a dash IP to grab the IP addresses for the discovered names, which can be really helpful. So we're just gonna run amas enum dash D and then we'll just run yahoo.com. Actually, now that I see this is running and it's actually taking a little while, let's go ahead and close out of this. I wanna run an amas enumeration and I wanna run a dash passive and then the domain right here and then run this and this should run a little bit faster than what we did have going okay so amas is still running but i want to show you look at all of these subdomains that it has pulled down for us this is going to be way more it's so many that my terminal is actually lagging so we'll go ahead and close out of this so that way it stops and if we just scroll through here look at all of these subdomains this has way more subdomains than we had with sublister. It is an insane amount. So all of these subdomains, you'll wanna to check to make sure that they're in scope, but look at all of these yahoos. Like, this is a crazy attack surface. If you can find a program that has a really wide scope, then you will, then most of the subdomains you find will be in scope, but make sure to always check. I can't believe I'm still scrolling. There has got to be like, nearly a thousand subdomains right there. So AMAS is something you'll want to check out. I love AMAS enum and then I run the passive because I think it runs a little faster. And then Yahoo. 
Okay, so that is a quick and simple way to grab some subdomains. I decided to share this video as I'm working on a recon course for you. So if you're interested in more recon videos like this or a complete recon course, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to get that as soon as it's ready. Thanks for watching.